changed. This is, I use a synthetic grease. This is made by Super Lube. This is a synthetic multi-purpose lubricant. Kind of reminds you of silicone. I use just use a real light dab on my finger on the shaft all the way around on the back of the shaft just a little bit and then I do put a little bit on the this is actually lubed up pretty good so I'm just adding a little bit the sliding surfaces here and this location right here is where we adjust the pedal and I'll show you that in a second here but this bar This is where it hits the launchers right there and it pushes the launcher and triggers it. The thing that's really important here is lubing that and I use the same multi-purpose grease synthetic which I think is really important. This is made by Super Lube. I take a piece of paper like this, put a little dab on it and I run it right up in there just like that. Try flow I use it in the, the liquid because it's here in the shop. It's easier to work. And it also comes in a spray. I find the liquid is easier to apply. A couple drops of oil on the spring area right in here. Kind of like spray paint, but it's just a, a lubricant. On the spring area, on the latch areas. That's it. And of course, even though it's greased I like to put a little bit in there on this I'm just spraying on the top of the shaft and it's running around the outside that's all there is to it and what you'll find is you'll find that the plungers will really come alive just by having all the dog hair out of there and the lubrication it doesn't take a lot just a little bit got the washers on there I just put it back on there spin them in there the new plungers and I do go through a lot of these plungers I mean I, when they come in on the old boxes I'll take them off and clean them up and put new rubbers on them so they are kind of a, a recyclable, recyclable item okay I got to my um, 5 and 30 seconds Allen wrench again in the hole I give it a pretty good twist. Um, I use the T-wrenches, but the straight Allen wrenches will do it too. Also, what I do, um, I do this, this, you do this, the side of the box thing again, I guess it's the best. Also, what I do when I have it in here is um, the, um, the lock nuts that are on the launcher that are in here. They have a set screw. And these are eighth inch. Just check those. Front, those are all tight. I had a, a box, a launcher sent to me um, actually this week, that the back end of the rod was shot because the lawn, these um, lock nuts come loose and they were sliding on the on the shaft not a big deal um, I just need to cut him a new shaft and put it in here and he's ready to go but just be careful to check your your shaft locks um, and then also what I do is I take my 7 16 wrench and I just check these launcher bolts these are all nice and torqued but I uh, I just make sure they're Make sure I, I move them until they actually move. They're actually tight enough, but I always like to check them. Check all of them. That's all just those. And then, and by the way, all the all the screws on this box are number two square, and I like to check all those too. I check all the bars. These actually got some movement in them. This part, this box has been beat up pretty good. Just check all the, all the screws on the side. There's six of them, and 
check the ones on the bottom too. These are all getting a little movement here. This box has been beat up over the years and it's fairly old. So they all need a little, just a little tightening, not much. It's not falling apart, just snugging it up. Okay, these bars um, are the trigger bars. I go ahead and I check these for tightness too. What I do now is I go ahead and put the hardware back that we had that it took off earlier. Washer and a regular quarter inch nut goes on first. Up on the other side. Can you see that right here, Gary? Okay, what I'm doing is, with the launcher cocked, I'm setting this pedal so I got a little bit of space right here. So basically, if I open this up, the gap gets bigger, right here. If I tighten it up, the gap gets smaller. So I get tight, what I normally do is get it tight so it touches that bar, and then I back it off. So there's a little bit of gap there. Um, what I've been finding is you can carry a little gap. I know some teams in Ontario that do really well, well with about 10 thousandths. A 16th to an eighth inch is probably plenty big, but basically if you can see air through it, you're good. And another thing I noticed is, is when there's no gap, when you cock this, it doesn't click. What happens is, is you'll get that sound. And what that means is the pedal pressure is actually on that bar. And if you, when you're loading and you bump it, it fires. What I do is I get these set, put the locks on. I know you can't see this very good, but I might get a little bit different angle. I usually get it close with my ratchet and wrench. Seven sixteenths. I lock them down. Okay, they're locked down, just snug. And then what I do is I set them again and take a look at them. Now in this case, they're perfect for me. They used to be, we used to set them really, really snug with hardly no room and all what we found was just give them, a little, give them a little space, it's no big deal. It doesn't slow your box down at all. What now, right now what I got is that much room before it hits the, the launcher. Same on the other side. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock these down. They're, like I say, some people like to have a little tighter. That's cool. Um, if you maintain your own box and you're, you really like to um, keep them really close, more power to you. It was designed that way. The problem is most people that I know don't maintain their box very well, and that's okay. If it's working, it's working. But if you wanna, if you don't maintain and clean them a lot, leave them a little sloppy. Dogs are hitting that box so fast that it's, there's no difference between having a hair trigger and a sloppy trigger. With I'm talking within a 16th to an eighth inch of gap. So there's no problem. I've been setting them looser and looser over the years and have better performance because they're not getting fired from people leaning on the box. I have a little flex there. The box is made to flex. The box is made for flex. This is a half inch plastic pedal that acts like a trampoline. It flexes with the rubber to take some of the shock out of the dog. I always check them, see how it feels. I'm just barely touching this pedal. I'm gonna see one finger, just my little finger. I use just plain old armor all. The reason why I use armor all is because it's made for rubbers and plastics for cars and they've developed a really good product. Okay, I have another box in here. This box needs a complete teardown. Um, the biggest reason is this is one of the 
older boxes that I've, well, this is like one of the first five I ever built, but um, this used to have base shoe, and it was a vinyl, and after the years of it going back and forth, it basically starts to break off. It's been really good, but it needs replaced. What I use now is an actual rubber, rubber product, uh, 1 16th rubber, Eagling. It's You can't break it. Cold, warm, it's an awesome product. So that'll be replaced. I want to replace that for this box. These launchers need to come out and need to be checked out. Cleaned and lubed. Total adjustment. Total refab. Um, actually, the box, if I tore this vinyl off right there, change these, I bet you be ready to rock. The older they are, the better they work. And I really mean it. But of course, rubber's bad. This pedal pad actually looks pretty good, but I'm going to change it to the new rubber I'm using. So anyway, here we go.
Thank you.